Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, where Tennessee just played its first game of the 2024 NCAA tournament and took home a win over St. Peter's. Two seed Tennessee, 83, 15 seed St. Peter's, 49, dominating win for the Vols. Let's talk about it. I'm Ryan Sylvia. <laughs> this is Noah Tyler, fourthvolreport.com on the Rivals Network. Let's start with the trio of guys that, that went or had the great game for Tennessee. It's the trio that we're kind of used to seeing. Yeah. And Dalton Connect, Jonas Edu, Zakai Ziegler. Quickly, their stats. Dalton Connect leading the way, 83 or 23 points, uh, 83 for the team. Jonas Adu 15 points. And Zakai Ziegler, double double effort, uh, 11 points, 10 assists. In, in the press, or someone asked Zakai about his double double. They said that it was in about 50 years the first time a Tennessee player has had a double double in the NCAA tournament with points and assists. Wow. So, that's a pretty remarkable stat. <laughs> Those three guys had a really good game. Just how important is it when they're playing at this level for Tennessee? Oh, yeah, it's no mystery. You know, and you kind of knew it early on with this game. Uh, it felt like a game, obviously, a good draw for Tennessee, a, a game that could win, especially given the elite level this defense plays, how much St. Peter's struggles scoring. We got to see that, but everything just clicked for Tennessee, and it started with those three guys, Dalton being able to, to score, uh, Jonas being able to just control the pain, and then Zakai, you know, dishing out passes and uh, dishing out assists and things like that. That's when Tennessee's at its best. And it, this looked like the, the team that we kind of expect to go to the Final Four, right? I mean, it, they played at that level tonight. Obviously, it's be a challenging game ahead against Texas. I know we'll get into that in a minute. But mm -hmm. um, I, I think that when these guys are playing this way, uh, it's it's really hard to beat this Tennessee team. When you look at the defensive side of things, a, a kind of vintage Rick Barnes defensive <laughs> performance yeah. out there. This team straightened a little bit of defense for a lot more offense. It didn't look like that tonight. It, it was really domination on both sides at, at halftime. St. Peter's just at the 20 point mark. Obviously, Tennessee takes his foot slightly off the gas in the second half. But you look at the final box score and 49 points for St. Peter's. They shoot 29.1% from the field, 16.7% on three-pointers, and, and even the line wasn't easy for them in the first half. Two for seven at the free-throw line. They finished the game 68.4% at the charity stripe. Just nothing easy for St. Peter's. How, how nice was that to see from a Tennessee team that's coming off two defensive performances? They probably went back. Yeah, I mean, that, that's another thing I wanted to you know mention a second ago, just coming off that Mississippi State loss, the way you lost that game, the way you kind of looked uncharacteristic against Kentucky, too, which is a really good offense. Kind of got back to, to the roots in this game, you know, and, and everybody obviously pitched in defensively. But I, I think a really, really good kind of bounce back win for this Tennessee team. A game, you know, I think they were 21 point favorites coming in. Tennessee expected to win. We expected them to win. But to do it in this dominating fashion and do it with exactly what brought you this far. The three guys, the trio of guys that, you know, playing at the level that they played at and then just suffocating a team completely defensively. And how important do you think it was for Tennessee to kind of bounce back, not only with the win here in, in the round of 64, but in such an emphatic fashion? Yeah. And really all 40 minutes swung in the favor of Tennessee. Do you feel like that was important for them heading into this March Madness run to kind of maybe have a, a signature win or a yeah. statement win like this? I think so. I, I think so. And, you know, we just got through the locker room portion, and I asked Dalton Connect that, you know, how, you know, imperative was it that you guys make that a goal I guess coming off that Mississippi State game to come out here because that was a game where you know he was held I think you know 13 points or so and Zakai was was struggling on kind of with turnovers and, and missing some shots Jonas you know it's when those three guys aren't clicking at the same time and especially when Jonas isn't playing well this this, this team obviously has some struggles but man they, you see their ceiling tonight and I think that that was you know a goal for those guys important for those three especially and I think that, that bodes really well for Tennessee that they recognize that. that they know that when they're playing at this level, uh, Tennessee's at its absolute best. I think it's really important uh, for those three guys to recognize how important they are to this team. You highlighted it earlier just talking about this next matchup that's yeah. coming up. Tennessee, Texas, the Rick Barnes Bowl, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a big one right here in Charlotte on Saturday. What does Tennessee need to, to do to get a win here in the round of 32, go back to back Sweet 16s? Yeah, play, consistency. I know that's a big – that's a Rick Barnes rubbing off on me, I yeah. guess. But, play, you know, obviously you're, you're not, probably not going to be as dominating as you were tonight. But, you know, have def, certainly have those three guys play well and, and get the most out of the other guys deep on the defensive end for sure. Um, and it's a team Tennessee has a lot of familiarity with. You know, we asked them that in the locker room portion a second ago too. This will be the third year that, that they played them. Obviously, the home and home in 22, 23, beat them in Knoxville, split those games, lost in Austin, beat them in Knoxville. Now your third time, and you know Josiah kind of had a little bit of a scouting report on these guys. So a lot of these guys are the guys we faced last year. Uh, you don't get a lot of that now with the transfer yeah. portal and things. But so I think that familiarity 
certainly will help Texas, but I think those guys felt pretty confident it could help them too. Um, but obviously a, a lot on the line here for Tennessee, and I think a, a tough, you know, in, tough and entertaining, potentially entertaining matchup here to, to try to get to the Sweet 16 for the second straight year. I think Tennessee matches up pretty well against Texas. I think a, a big kind of aspect of this game will be the post play yeah. from the balls. Jonas Adu, if he can do what he did tonight, especially yeah. early in the game like he's been doing. Right. I think that's been a kind of uh, common denominator in a lot of Tennessee's yeah. wins is Jonas Adu, when this offense isn't getting started uh, on the right foot, he comes in, he, he's playing really good basketball on yeah. the offensive end. We saw that tonight. He was that life early yeah. in the game. They can get that going early, and they can kind of build off of that. I, I think there's a, a I don't want to say easy path, but definitely right. a path to, to a win for Tennessee. Game they should win, game they're going to be favored in, but it's never easy <laughs> here in March. So make sure you head over to ballreport.com to get all of the, the info you need coming out of this St. Peter's win. And then also for this matchup, number seven or seven seed Texas against two seed Tennessee for a spot in the Sweet 16. Lady Balls get their tournament started that same day over at noon in Raleigh, North Carolina. They're going to host or face 11 seed Green Bay. Baseball gets their series started tomorrow against Ole Miss. And spring ball still going on as well. So everything that you need under the umbrella of Tennessee Athletics is over at ballreport.com. Links to everything you need is in the description. Thank you for watching.